Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today, let's take a look at a couple of French drains and how to install them. You know, a French drain is very versatile. You can use it for many things. The first video is going to show you how we use it as a channel drain. In other words, normally a French drain picks up subsurface water, and this one will do that too. But it's at the end of a driveway, so as that water comes down the drive, it drops through the voids of the gravel and goes straight into the system and is carried away. It's going to a sump pump on the first one, but the second one's gravity, so you get an idea of both. Let's take a look at these videos. As you look at this drive, you'll notice that it is very downhill from the house all the way back down here to the fence by the garage. Water has been flooding down the drive so badly that the neighbor actually had to complain. Water has been pouring onto his property. What we're going to do is add a French drain. It's going to double as a, as a channel drain at the end of the drive to pick up that water and send it away. So over here where the gravel is going, Paul's done a nice job. We're right alongside the driveway. You can see we're down there about 20 inches. Good depth, we'll have a good base of gravel. At the end down there, we'll put a catch basin, another catch basin, fill it up with gravel. And as that water comes down this driveway, should drop into our system, run over to the sump pump. Okay, so while I was going to get gravel, these guys have already put down the catch basins in here. They've got the trench dug out. You can see water collecting in there already. Okay, so now we're getting ready to fill up this trench with gravel. We're down about 20 inches, and you can see we've got a whole yard of gravel over there. We're going to put an entire base down here along the bottom. A good six inches of gravel down here at the bottom. Then we'll set our catch basins. We're going to use four inch PVC. It's got the holes in it. These holes are going to point down into the trench like that. Then we'll finish covering the top. We're going to go ahead and set these catch basins up. I've already taken out the screws that hold the grate in place. We've got to set these up for a double outlet. <clears throat> little barbs, they snap in, little nipples. Twist and hold it. Locks it in place. Do the other side. <laughs> Twist it in place. Nice and tight. Let's do another one. Remember it has graded edges, little nipples, slots for it. Push it in, twist it, make sure it's good and tight. Same thing on this side. Good and tight. Good. And our first one still has screws in it. <laughs> so you pull those out with your handy dandy drill. pop off your lid. This one we're setting up to be at the inlet line, so it's got a cap on the end. You saw me pushing them off. I'm going to leave the cap on. This actually goes on the outside. You could put it on the inside, but it goes on the outside. Snap it in place. Twist and hold it. Now we're ready to put our grates back on. So we're getting ready to set this basin. Remember that perforated pipe holes point down. So we're going to go ahead and put our basin in place. We're going to have Gerald throw some gravel over here behind the basin. 
is good. Best you can. We're going to fill this up so it's nice and secure, nice and tight. One more should do it. Good. Now we can actually start throwing the gravel cover. We're going to bring gravel all the way to grade. So you can see we're just finishing bringing our gravel up to grade. Right now it looks a little messy, but once we clean it all up, it'll be really nice. Bring that gravel right up to the to the bottom of that concrete. Remember we have PVC, perforated PVC, holes point down. The guys are covering the solid pipe, which leads to the sump pit. The sump pump picks it up and carries it away. Basically, this is a giant channel drain. Water will run down the the driveway here and it will drop through the voids of the gravel down to the bottom of the trench and then it floods up into the holes of the perforated pipe and the pipe carries it away and our discharge is of course that sump pump so we had to make sure that we had a really good pump we put an m98 half horsepower about 80 gallons a minute and it should keep up with this quite well hey before i show you the next example of a french drain wanted to remind you about live help video consultation via Skype or FaceTime. We can help you with everything from project planning, materials, answer any questions, and really give you the, the advice that you need, help you understand how water moves through the ground and through the gravel into your system. Sign up online, just $50 this month through December. So on this job, we're using a combination of gravel perforated pipe, you can see the gravel. We're also going to be using some easy flow. And the reason I'm using that easy flow is this area where it comes down the steps really has a lot of water that comes through. So we added a catch basin there at the end. We've added another catch basin right here. And we had to use a riser. You can see that green pipe that comes up from the basin. That's actually just six inch pipe and that we cut that to size. So we call that a riser. That brings it from the bottom of the trench up to your grate. We're continuing on down through. So this, will, this system should work really good to protect that swimming pool. Okay, so you've seen us collect the water. That's what the French drain does. It collects all the water. Now we need a place to send it, the discharge. In this example, we're using a sump pump. The sump pump will lift it up and send it to the back of this yard. Okay, so we've got our sump pit installed and way down here is our inlet line. This is gonna be a gravel perforated pipe. You can see where it comes into the sump pit. Next, we're gonna set the sump pump and we're gonna drill the outlet for the sump pump up here. Okay, so you can see our sump basin. We've got the lid on there. We've got our discharge pipe coming out. You saw the inlet line. Now we're backfilling. Basically, we covered that gravel perforated pipe, whoops, with gravel, or excuse me, we covered that, we covered the French drain with, you know, a landscape fabric, a geo fabric, and now we're gonna go ahead and backfill. Remember, we used both types of material here. We used gravel perforated pipe and the styrofoam peanuts. So we're gonna backfill this and then we'll move this soil out of here and we're done. So you saw in the first video how the channel drain is so versatile that this is picking up uh, driveway water and it's also preventing a flood that's been going over to that neighbor's house. I mean, that was pretty dramatic. That man had to call and complain. Um, but we solved that problem and we actually went and did a job for him as well. But um, the second video is showing you some of the tougher jobs that we come across. Uh, this one is in a, in a backyard where the soil is so bad. We put in over 400 feet of pipe on here. Um, it works great. It, I tell you, French drains, if you get them in properly with the catch basins, you will solve your problem. Hey, good morning. Chuck here at Apple Drain. Today we're putting in a yard drain that's going to go all the way around this house. You can see we've started a trench here in the back. We're hooking up all these downspouts. It'll run around the other side 
and it's also going to run around this side and you can see all the water that's laying in the yard what it does is it comes down off of this hill there's a few natural springs out here so what we need to do is to get a gravel perforated pipe some people call it a french drain this is something the homeowner could do themselves but i'll tell you what this is a big job there's about 400 feet of pipe here and we found out why this backyard floods. As you can look at this soil, it's really dry. But you can see how muddy it is on the surface. Water just can't get down into the ground here. So by adding the gravel perforated pipe and hooking up the downspout drains to the system, we'll be able to, to drain this yard. So water's been coming down this hill from up here, down through the yard. And the soil is just so bad here. It's just like rock solid. Water cannot permeate down through this. So we're adding gravel perforated pipe all through this section here. And what that'll do is it'll allow that water a place to go. Right now it just has no place to go. It just sits on top of the ground and, and just floods. We'll be adding some catch basins. You can see these low spots over here in the yard, real wet. Add some catch basins in these low spots and send the line over to our trench which will run all the way out to the street. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.